Well, hey there, this is Chase, and in this video, I'm going to show you about Apple's uh, tags, uh, which you find in the Finder. Let me open that up. Uh, so you'll see all your files and ways to look at them, but what is really powerful are these tags right down here. What I want you to, what I want to explain here in this video is how to add tags and really what they do. Um, so let's just uh, let's start with the file. I'm going to take a screenshot of just the side of the mountain here in the sunlight and just do that so now and this is like a brand new computer so i don't really have many files at all but now you see this under all my files and that makes sense so all my files but what if you want what if you forget where this file is wouldn't it be handy to be able to click a button like this red tag and find it um, and what you can do is um, several different ways of getting this red tag and i'll show you how it works after i create the tag so one way is to right click and you can either do a control click if you're on a laptop or right click if you have a mouse that'll do right click and you can just go right down to the bottom and choose add red or add tag red okay so now it has a little red tag right there. It also has it on the desktop right by the file name. And so now what happens, uh, let's say you know I'm looking around and I'm going to documents and I'm not finding my important uh, picture. And maybe I even go to you know, um, you know desktop or wherever and I just, well, there it is. But if I go to downloads or I'm just not finding it and, and I'm frustrated, the easiest way is because it's tagged red, boom, I just click it and it has a little red tag and it doesn't matter where it is. In fact, we can move it into documents. Uh, let me just click OK on that. Uh, let's just move it into documents. Okay, so now it's moved. It's not on the desktop anymore. Okay, it's gone. You don't see it over here as well. And you're like, wait a second, where'd it go? Um, again, just going down to the tag, clicking on red, it finds it. Now you can also sort the various ways as well. Um, I like the column view. When you click on that, it gives you a nice preview with a lot of uh, the stats. Okay, that's one way to add it. And what I'm going to do now is move it back onto the desktop. So I'll just drag it onto the desktop. Okay, now to get rid of that tag, let's say you have a short term project and you need to get rid of it. You can also right click on it and just click on the red tag. This time it'll say remove tag red. Okay, so now it's on the desktop. Okay, there it is. But it's not in the red tag area. Now, here's another way to add it. So I'm on the red tags, and like oh, I have the screenshot, and I want it to be tagged. You can just drag it into this folder, which is the tag for red, and boom, there it's done. And it's tagged over here as well. Okay, so that's a really cool, easy way to um, tag things. One way is to right click and choose the tag. The other way is to drag it into the folder of the red uh, tag, okay? And then no matter where you move it, if you move it uh, out of the desktop area into documents, okay? It's gonna disappear on the desktop, okay? It's not there and it's not there over, over there, but then um, it's always gonna be in the red tag, okay? Now I wanna show you one more. Let's uh, open up pages. And uh, this is the first time I've opened pages here. Let's just go to create a document. And let's say you have a term paper. This is a really nice uh, template. So here it is, you're gonna type out whatever, you know, all that. Um, and you're gonna, or you're gonna work on your, your term paper, okay? So here's another way of adding a tag. You can go to File, Save. And you're going to give it a file name, so it would be like school report or school term uh, paper. And then right under here you have tags. So you just click and add a red tag. Now, you also can add another generic tag. Uh, let's just go, oops, that's not even spelled right. So let me just fix that. So now let's come back in here and let's say, you know what, you don't want it just red, but you want it school project or school term paper and so you could just put term paper and then right there you can create a new tag so it can be tagged with red but it also can be tagged with the new tag term paper so, uh, okay there it is so my apologize um, I 
I hadn't really actually done that, so there it is. But it should be in term paper. Uh, let's go ahead and, and it's going to be in documents, so let's save it. Okay, it's saved. Let's open up our finder. It's actually open. And so now we have it as a red document, but then we also have, let's go down to all tags, and there it is, term paper. And so there it is. It's also tagged red. So if we go to the red tag, it's going to be there. And let's say we want to untag it from red. So we can right click and then choose to remove the red tag red. Okay, and it'll disappear from the red tag. But you'll see it in term paper. And there it is, which is awesome. You can still see it in various ways of column views. And I like column view a lot because it gives you a, a nice view. Uh, and then let's just go ahead and click this. If you need to rename it, you can rename it. If you need to remove it from the sidebar, which is this sidebar here, you can also delete it. You can also give it a, a color, like a different uh, color, like green. And there it would have a green color. And, there would, and it's associated right there. So we saw a couple different ways of adding these tags. I'll do other videos to show you how to remove and other things you can do. But here we've uh, got this um, a screenshot with a red tag. And remember, I just drag it into this red folder. You can also right click on the file no matter where it is and give it a tag down here. You're going to add multiple tags as well. You can have two tags. So it can be green and red. And then that would also be shown in green or red. But it would not be in orange. Okay. So red, and then we have a new uh, tag that we call term paper, and that was for that document that we created in pages. So just some really cool ways to show you how to use tags on your Mac. And uh, I find it very helpful because if you have a, an important file, many people may forget over time, say a couple months, where that file is. And it doesn't matter where it is. And, uh, of course, we can move this right onto the desktop. And it's still in the tag for term paper, but it's also on the desktop. And it has that green tag and it's tagged for term paper. So hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a like. And if you have any questions, go ahead and um, post those questions in the comment area of this YouTube video. Thanks again. Have a great day. Bye for now.